as part of helping students develop their vocabulary and oral language, we want to be playful and have fun with things like tongue twisters. Those are a blast and they really help develop phonological awareness, which is the next step in uh, literacy development after vocabulary and oral language knowledge. So phonological awareness is teaching us that the words have sounds and parts in them, which we kind of know inherently, but we may not notice all of those sounds and parts. For example, think of a young child who says the word surprise. They say surprise. Later, when those children start to read, they'll say surprise because they recognize there's that R in the front that maybe they were missing all the time. Reading helps influence their phonological awareness. They go hand in hand. But phonological awareness is really helpful when we're thinking about encoding and decoding words because we want students to understand that there are parts of words and they're attached to letters, to a graphic representation of those letters. So we do things like play the I spy sound game. I spy with my little eyes something on the uh, table that starts with B, basket. I spy with my little eyes something on the table that starts with B and ends with book. I spy with my little eyes something that starts with t, ends with a, and has a middle sound, er, tray, tray. And in this little game, we're focusing on the sound of the language, not spelling. This is just about how it actually sounds, not about how it spells. And don't worry about that at this stage. It's just for the ear. We're just training the ear when we talk about phonological awareness. It doesn't link with spellings in English because we're only a partially phonetic language. We're not a very transparent orthography. And so it's okay that we just focus on sounds at this stage. We're going to continue that key sound approach when we look at letter sound knowledge next.